How's it going everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking about the lens that completed my product photography trio. The RF 85 millimeter uh, F2. This lens at full price is $599 and I've often seen it at $499. Go ahead and look at the first link in the description down below so that you can get a current price of it. If you can find it at $499, this lens right here is, is a phenomenal buy. Um, it is a 85 millimeter macro lens. This lens has a minimum focus distance of 1.14 feet, just a little over one foot, which pairs awesome with the 35 millimeter macro. I did two previous videos of the other two lenses that I'm talking about. You can see them right here. Uh, it's the 35 millimeter 1.8 and also the Nifty 50 1.8. This right here, the 85 millimeter RF F2 completes the trio that I'm talking about. It's a great lens that, <clears throat> it's a lens that completes my product photography kit. That kit includes either the Canon R5 or the R6 that I'm filming on, the 35mm 1.8, the Nifty 50, and then to close off the trio is the RF 85mm. At 85mm, you're able to get some really awesome compression lifestyle photos. I'm going to be shooting a few examples and I'll post them uh, here for you. This lens combo, this lens trio, I think is the best uh, STM budget trio that is available out there. So at the time of, at the time of this recording, the 35 millimeter 1.8 retails for $400, $399, and the Nifty 50 1.8, a favorite of everybody, this lens right here retails for $149.99, uh, 150 bucks. Then the, the big guy right here, the 85 millimeter uh, F2 right here, this guy retails for $499.99. These three lenses right here, all three of these together make up the perfect product photography kit, the trio, if you will. The STM trio, the budget trio. Uh, there's another one in there, the, there's a 16, and then there's also the uh, 24. I own the 16, I never bought the 24. But these three lenses right here, at their focal lengths, this is the perfect prime trio for product photography. Uh, all three of these right here combine 399, 199, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the prices combined at $399, $149, and then $499 come up to just under $1,050 for three beautiful prime lenses that will have excellent optical quality. Now you may say to yourself, uh, Vic, why don't I just get the uh, 24 to 70 um, 2.8? Well, the 24 to 70 2.8 comes in at uh, $2,399, 2400 bucks, right? So at 10 at 1050 versus 2400 you're still off by almost fifteen hundred dollars you could almost buy these lenses again uh, for the price of of that now this isn't to say that the 24 to 70 2.8 is inferior to these lenses the 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 is still an L series lens, which, which makes it a, a far superior lens. But again, what I'm referring to is just um, a product photography kit, a budget product photography kit that can get you started to cover all of your bases. With the 35 millimeter, you can get some really awesome um, uh, wide angle shots, semi wide angle shots to give a little bit more perspective of the room. The 50 millimeter just gives you great flexibility if you want to do um, product photography shots that include uh, a model's face or your face modeling the the modeling the product. And then the 85 millimeter has just phenomenal optical quality and a macro capability that just gives you so much flexibility. I'm gonna post uh, uh, some pictures here of, of the images that I took today. My subject today, uh, when it comes to macro photography, I think the best subjects to use are often um, 
stuff with small details. So I used a uh, one of my classic Timex watches. It's a it's vin it's not vintage, but it's a uh, old. It's used up and it has some wear and tear and it has a little bit of character. So I, I like to use this and um, for for demonstration purposes and videos like this, I like to shoot at multiple uh, f stops. Those f stops that you're going to see are usually the lowest f stop that a le the the lens uh, can go can go up to. In this case, it's f2. Then I shot at f2.8, f4, f5.6, f8, and then f11. And uh, typically, my product photography or my product photo shots usually fall in between uh, 2.8 and 5.6 just seems to be where I get the best quality and then obviously I shoot at I shoot at the lowest f-stop just to see its uh, capabilities and uh, you're gonna see some awesome details uh, with this uh, with this lens and the actual subject Going back to the price of this lens right here at $499, the other variant of this 85mm in the Canon RF system is the 85 uh, 1.2 and that lens retails for I believe north of $2,500 which is just crazy, right? I, I want to I take a moment and also mention that buying into the Canon system and the RF lineup, you're going to be hit with some sticker shock because all of the RF L series lenses are just as expensive or if not more expensive than the camera bodies themselves. They're pretty, the price is pretty shocking. Um, what I wanted to show and do these last three videos, um, these last three videos of the 35 millimeter, the nifty 50 and now the 85 F2 is because I wanted to showcase that. You don't have to buy into this system and then immediately spend um, four or five months of rent on buying just one lens. You can buy these uh, budget STM lenses that are optically wonderful and spectacular uh, pieces of gear and pieces of equipment that can, in, in time, once you start to master your craft and you start to become a little bit better at product photography, you can really make some, some awesome cash that that can help you buy uh, more and more expensive gear. You know, I, I like to talk about product photography as a side hustle, as a side gig that you do in tandem with your with your nine to five or something that you do th that you can do for fun to express your creativity. When you do product photography at my level, you're just um, having fun. Uh, I'm just having fun and trying to express my creativity through this medium. I can tell you um, confidently that owning these three lenses, I've been able to, so the, the three lenses that I had were these guys right here, my product photography kit, the best kit that I think money can buy. I had it paired with the R6. The first lens that I had bought was the Nifty 50 because it was all that I could afford. Then I purchased the the, the 35 millimeter because I, I, I heard great things about the macro capabilities and I, I knew that I needed that, I wanted to, to have that, right? After working, and getting a couple of gigs back to back with both of these lenses and honing my craft and getting better, I was able to eventually swing and buy uh, this guy right here. And this lens right here, for about a year, spent the most amount of time on my R6. With this lens alone and the other two accompanying it, I was able to eventually just keep growing and, and making, making a little bit more money and charging a premium that I was able to afford the R5 and I, I want to take a second to to maybe provide a little bit of encouragement that I know that these things are 
Uh, these pieces of gear are not cheap and they are very expensive, but slowly and surely and methodically and as you start improving your craft and you start improving your quality and learning new techniques about lighting and styling and uh, negotiating with clients, that the money is going to be coming in eventually you know you will be starting you'll be starting at maybe doing $100 jobs $20 jobs here or there but as your quality improves and as you start to um, work with higher quality um, clients your projects are going to be in the $500 range a thousand dollar range and it, it just compounds on itself as you start to to improve your skills so uh, I wanted to say I wanted to say to you guys uh, if you're at the very beginning stages and you're deciding which lens which of these lenses that you should buy first to get started and kind of kick off the uh, kick off the new year I'm gonna have to say um, if you're if you're limited by your budget that the nifty 50 is a, is a no-brainer and a must-have but if you can afford a, a little bit more than that this 85 millimeter I think is is far superior especially if you're considering doing uh, product photography as a, uh, as a as a secondary income the reason why I don't say that the 35 millimeter is because the 35 millimeter is a little wide for specific product photography and uh, the 85 just gets you some really awesome compression. All of them, all three of them together though, like I said, uh, all three of them combined, depending on when you buy, when you watch this video, um, the price for all three is $1,050. So just a little bit less than, than, uh, than $1,050, which I know is a lot of money, but these are, these pieces of gear and these pieces of equipment are, assets they're not liabilities unless you treat them as such because the the way that they retain their value is 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 extraordinary you know this lens right here at uh, brand new at 499 probably sells used for maybe a hundred dollars less which a hundred dollars think of it this way uh, what is the difference between an asset and a liability right an asset is something that costs money uh, but can also return more money than what it's worth over time right one job with this $500 lens could potentially pay for itself in two to three jobs depending on where you are in your in your product photography gear this is an asset this 35 millimeter right here is is they're all assets right your camera body your your props, all of these things bring you income over time. So when you start thinking of things around you and you start thinking of your gear, your lights, your uh, subscriptions to Adobe, you have to stop thinking of them as, as, uh, as liabilities and start considering them to be what they are, which are assets, assets that bring you money uh, over time. These lenses are absolutely nothing to scoff at. They are brilliant, bright, they're perfectly weighted. And uh, this one specifically lived on my R6 for the longest amount of time. This is actually R5, I film on my R6. But the way that this one sits on the uh, body, the, by the way, the Canon R5 and the R6 have very similar form factors, actually almost identical form factors. But this right here was just, a a beautiful combo it's just a well a well weighted uh, camera body and camera lens combo that just feels great in the hand it's, it's awesome to shoot it has beautiful beautiful bokeh at f2 with the macro capabilities you it's just I can't say enough about this lens guys this I can't say enough about this specific lens right here um, once I started getting a little bit better at my craft, when I got the 50, the 35, and then I got the 85, my product photography trio was, was complete and I was off to the races. Just a beautiful lens, just a optically beautiful lens. It's, it really is a little beast. If you guys like this type of video and this type of information, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, consider following me on Instagram as well. I post often on Instagram and I'm very active on that platform. Uh, the pictures that I shoot are typically shot with the R5 or the R6. And in the description below, I do a little uh, caption, but I also include the camera body that I'm using and the specific lens that I'm using for that day. So now that I've gotten these three videos out of the way where I'm explaining where the uh, product photography 
uh, lenses come in in the trio. I'm gonna be diving in. I'm gonna be diving in a little bit more into specifically product photography, and I'm gonna be relating back to these three lenses so that you can start kicking off. Uh, your product photography gear whether you want to do a full-time aspire to do a full-time or it's just gonna be a side income Which is what I do if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment down uh, down below Or you can send me a DM right on my Instagram I'm very responsive on both platforms and I try to answer everything to the best of my ability but also uh, Some other people have jumped in and been able to to answer these questions So if you have any specific questions about these specific lenses whether it be the nifty 50 the 35 or the 85 uh, STM lenses all of them are are wonderful and they should belong in one kit together um, yeah if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask leave a comments down below give me the like subscribe follow me on Instagram uh, all of that jazz and uh, and I'll see you adios Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty.